Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home and today I've got a very exciting unboxing video to do for you. We're going to get to take a sneak peek at this new Harry Potter 4K set with the Hogwarts Express packaging. So this was sent to me by the fine folks at High Def Ninja who continue to support my channel and send me really awesome things to unbox and show off to you. So they sent this to me early. This doesn't release until November 16th, just in time for the holidays. Would definitely make a great gift for a Harry Potter fan or a 4K fan, but I get to check this out early. So I'll break down the packaging here, show you guys what this is all about, and talk about this really cool Amazon exclusive set. So first, let's just take a peek at the packaging. So it kind of comes in this display looking like platform nine and three quarters with the brick. You got Hogwarts Express on the inside and the Hogwarts Railway. And then flipping this around, there is a large J card on the back, which tells you all about the different features and what this set includes. So we'll dive into all of this, but just know that this includes every movie on Blu-ray and on 4K disc and it includes the Harry Potter magical movie mode for Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. That was a new release that came out earlier this year that's packaged in to this release as well. So you not only get the packaging, but you basically get what I would consider the most extensive and complete Harry Potter set for physical media. Now I did just peel that J card off and on the back you can see you actually do get some platform nine and three quarters artwork with the Hogwarts Express. So overall a very nice package and something that certainly will look great on display but let's see what's inside. So here is the set unboxed. It is just a, a cardboard model of the Hogwarts Express train. So it's not like a crazy like steel model or anything but it's actually you know pretty decent heavy duty cardboard. So now if we break open and get into the uh, passenger seat, we do have here a little folder and there's a couple cool things in here. First thing is there's a ticket on the Hogwarts Express, London to Hogwarts. That's a nice little collector's item. And then there's a booklet, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone behind the scenes. So it has all sorts of stuff, behind the scenes photos, it looks like some sketches, uh, pretty cool stuff there, but unfortunately only for the first movie. Um, like I said, this set is celebrating the 20th anniversary of that first movie, but it would have been nice to see them do a full booklet um, so that this could be a little bit more of an extensive uh, collector set rather than just being focused on that first movie. Now also in the passenger side, we have the 4K discs. So this is some new artwork here actually. Can't get this artwork on the uh, standard 4K set from what I can tell. And then opening this up, uh-oh, um, something's broken in here. Looks like my case is broken. I got a plastic piece missing. Yep, that broke. Looks like these are floating around. So that's super disappointing. Um, may need to ask for a replacement case for that, but it does have all the movies on 4K. I'm not even gonna flip through them because I am afraid that that's gonna break more. So we'll dive in here. This is the Blu-ray set. We'll see if this one's any better. Opening this up and this does look better. So here's how it should have looked. Here's all your movies. Um, missing a disc. Oh boy. Okay. Hold on now. This, oh geez. This disc is flipped over on top of, this is not great. Okay. And I'm back. Um, I dropped the disc, a disc fell out and it does still sound like something was broken in here because I have a little piece of blue plastic floating around here. Um, this is how you guys know that <laughs> I don't get paid to do these unboxings and I definitely don't just shill for the studios because I would have fixed all this before I opened it. So that's a little bit of a mess as well. And I dropped a disc and actually I do want to note this because I've, I've seen this in some other Blu-rays recently. Yeah, the discs just are not staying well on these little plastic pieces. I'm pushing that down. It's not doing anything. I'm pushing this in here not doing anything it's not clicking and that's why discs are falling out i don't know if this is manufacturing defects if this is just poor quality management I, I i don't know what this is but i've been seeing this more and more with physical media releases 
and it's really super disappointing. Now I know there's manufacturing delays and there's issues all over the supply chain, but you know, I've had so many discs come loose or come damaged lately. And this was packaged pretty securely. Like this didn't move much. It was all in here. It was in a box. The box is in pristine shape. So to me, that actually says this is not an Amazon problem. This is whoever put these cases in here, put them in broken, or they were damaged during production or something. And that's on the studio, that's not on Amazon. Because I just don't see how these would have broken being so tight in here and so secure, especially with the box being in great shape. It wouldn't happen. So I put the blame on Warner Brothers for that one. I just, this, the train itself is in great shape. Like nothing's damaged. So the only way that those discs and those cases could have broken is during production, during manufacturing, during the initial packing of this set. So that's really disappointing. Um, hopefully Warner Brothers sees this and if you guys have that problem, they fix it because that sucks. I mean, I can't complain too much when High Def Ninja has sent it to me for free, but um, you know, you'd think if they wanted people to do early unboxings, they would send a higher quality product or make sure that those were at least in good shape, right? So authentic, you know, like I said, I don't, I don't bow down to any studios or anything. It is what it is. So I'm a little disappointed with the quality of the discs packaging themselves. But the rest of the set is very nice. This is a great display piece for your collection. You know, the only part that comes off is this here. The rest of it is just display. So, it's, it, I mean, if you're a Harry Potter fan, like great display piece, a little bit behind the scenes on Sorcerer's Stone, you get your ticket to Hogwarts and the Hogwarts Express. Other than that though, there isn't really much else. This is just um, mostly collectible packaging. And you know, for that, it's gonna depend on how big a fan you are. You do also get all the Blu-rays and all the 4Ks. So that's certainly, you know, that's worth you know 80 or 90 bucks on its own just to get the discs and then the blu-rays on top or another 40 50. Um, but overall you know you're definitely paying for the the packaging and the way it looks on your shelf and it looks great i actually uh, sold off the rest of my harry potter discs uh, to somebody on instagram i sold all the discs i had and i'm going to keep this set because i like the way it looks in my collection so it's definitely a great option and it is an amazon exclusive so that is going to be the only way to get it which makes it even a little bit more collectible so i just slid mine back into the packaging i actually will probably keep it like this because it's not very often that you know i break out the harry potter movies and watch them and I kind of like the whole set, the way it looks in the box with the artwork on the back. It looks, you know, kind of nice on a shelf like this with the Harry Potter logo and it still clearly shows the train. So I'll probably do that. Um, but I mean, I'd say that this is, this is a nice set. Like there's nothing wrong with this set, but there's clearly issues with the disc manufacturing still. I mean, I've talked about this in other videos, but those discs are damaged and you can see the box is in pristine shape the train packaging was in pristine shape. So somebody on the Warner Brothers line somewhere put those in or damaged them while putting them in, something broke, the cases were poor quality, the discs are falling out, they're not clicking into the disc slots. I mean, it's, it's kind of a mess. I would just be careful with your orders, definitely inspect them if you buy them as a gift. Maybe you wanna open them up beforehand and just check that those discs are okay. Um, definitely do some inspection ahead of time because it feels like maybe Warner Brothers or whoever was doing this packaging uh, didn't do the best job at that. So protect yourself, do it yourself. So thanks for watching, that's it for this video. Thanks again to High Def Ninja. Not their fault this came damaged at all. Not Amazon's fault, wasn't the person shipping it or packing it, obviously everything looks really good. So thank you to High Def Ninja, check them out. There'll be a link down in the description where you can check out their website. They have tons of great resources for physical media collectors, especially if you like collectible items like the Steelbooks or these limited edition sets. They have group buys and they do lots of other things uh, with physical media. So it's a great resource. So definitely check them out. And then I will leave a link to this down in the description. As I said, it's an Amazon exclusive, so they'll only be an Amazon link. And if you use that link, that does help support my channel. So I, I do think it makes a great gift for a, for a movie collector, especially a Harry Potter fan. It's a really great looking set. Just be careful and inspect yours when you get it. So thanks for watching, that's it for this video. Didn't go the way I expected, but um, I still wanna be positive and I should quickly note that the Harry Potter 4K discs 
they're pretty good. I mean, they're the, the best version of those movies out there. So it's certainly worth getting them on 4K in one version or another. I've covered that in past videos. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you follow me on social media. All the links will be down in the description. Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, great places to get in touch with me and follow along what's going on in my life and in the collection uh, outside of YouTube. Uh, also, make sure you subscribe and like this video so others will see it. We can share it around and grow the channel a bit. Really appreciate that. And other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy out there, and I will talk to you soon.